You understand? If you ain't here the first time, we the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge. Started out of 1 West 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York, under Commander Jenny Ahana, man. You understand? We not affiliated with the Christian church or any Israelite organization. We come out here to teach the truth according to the Bible. And blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians have missed out on knowing the truth of this Bible because of the failure of the Christian church and the love that we give to our oppressor, our slave master. Since yay high, we have missed out on the truth according to the Bible. And if we don't care about what's inside of this Bible, then we never gonna know what's inside of it to understand it. So we've missed out on all of the wisdom and the knowledge and understanding that this Bible uh, talks about and prophesies, man. You understand? Take me to the book of Revelations, chapter 18. You understand? We coming out here to teach the truth to all blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. We in 2022, the world is being destroyed. Around us, you got the disease after disease. You understand? America going to war and picking tooth and nail with every other country on this earth. You understand? But black people, we don't need to get ourselves mingled up and, and entitled in all of their nonsense and all of the smoke that they asking for. We got our own war. We got our own battles right outside in our neighborhoods, man. Right. Right. As soon as you open that window, as soon as you open that door, you can understand what's going on with our people. You understand? Blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, it's time that we put down what we think we know is best and pick up this Bible, man. Right. And according to this Bible, America has a judgment coming to them, whether you like it or not. They've done way too much and have gotten away with it, and Christianity has taught us to love and forgive and to think that we can be lynched and raped for 400 years and nobody ever has to pay for it. Right. Now, how does that sound? How many black men out here that been racially profiled? How many black men is sitting underneath the, uh, the prison system and forgot about? How many of our mothers is, had done told us that we ain't gonna be nothing when we grow up? That you're just like your daddy. How many of us done been told that? You understand? But we done, we done missed out so much on this Bible, we don't understand that we have a father that cares about us. And America is not going to escape his judgment. America then then uh, then offered all types of smoke to blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. They done set us on fire. They done starved us. They done put us in Section 8. They done put us in hoods and barrios and reservations. You understand? They done stole our land. They done stole our language. They done stole our symbol. They done stole our identity. Somebody got to pay for that, man. And according to the Bible, the thing that everybody loves to hate, but always wants to talk about love, 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 and Christ, Christ, Christ. The Bible says that America is going to meet their day. Right. The Bible says that judgment is coming to our oppressor for laying a hand on God's chosen people. Take me to Revelations 18 and 4. We're going to bring it out in the Bible, man. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. The Bible says, come out of her, my people. You go to the book of Genesis, to the book of Revelations, from cover to cover, you're going to find out that the Bible is talking about the Israelites. You understand? You even up in the Christian church for I don't know how long, the brother breaking it down. We done had the Christian religion, and of all of our years, you right now, your father, your mother, your grandparents, your great-grandparents, ain't nobody told you, if you black, Latino, Native American Indian, that you are Israelite according to the Bible. So when you see in the Bible that it says, come out of her, my people, why does it say my people if it's talking about everybody? Right. Huh? Everybody think they're a scholar out here, pick up the book and all of a sudden everything sunshine and rainbows. The Bible says, my people come out of her. Who is the her? According to the Bible, that her, that great whole is talking about America that's sitting for many waters. Right. America got a space station, SpaceX. They got bases all across the earth. That is that great whole. That's the her. And the Bible says, come out of her, my people. We about to get put on so much game that we miss them because of Christianity and all that nonsense. All that hooting and hollering, ain't learning nothing in the Christian church. We missing real game here. The Bible is saying, come out of her. Because the God of this earth is a terrible God. And there's people on this earth that have not been judged. There's people on this earth that have not been spanked. That have not had their behind whooped for murdering us. For lynching us. For throwing Latino babies in, in cages and starving them. From giving the Native American Indians smallpox. You understand? Diseases with blanket, uh, in the blankets. Starving us with their foods. You understand? There's a nation of people on this earth that have never paid for it. Have never paid for Jim Crow laws. Have never paid for all of the starvation, all of the poverty. They've never paid for it. And they walk up and down looking all bright, enjoying their day, drinking wine and eating cheese. They walk around like life is good. 
Like they don't have to pay for it. Who's going to pay for it? Every oppressor loves to raise their hand and say, oh, I, I, I didn't put you in slavery. I didn't put you in chains. Well, you benefited from it. You benefited from it. Because of what your forefathers did, you get to send your kids to Yale and Harvard. Y'all got insurance coming out the womb. You understand? Because of what your forefathers did, your children grow up to become doctors. You understand? Get to sell drugs and don't get penalized for it. Get to get high and say they got a mental illness. When we got high, ain't nobody cared. The Christian church show and say nothing, and ain't nobody cared. It wasn't an epidemic then. It wasn't an epidemic then. But as soon as the white boys, as soon as every other race of people get stuck and they start getting harmed, Asians got a uh, stop Asian uh, hate crime right. on Joe Biden's first day in the office. How many of you black people out there voted for Joe Biden? Go ahead, don't be scared. How many blacks and Latinos out there voted for Joe Biden? Huh? You know you did, you ain't got to lie. You know you did, well guess what? Old Sleepy Joe, before he went to sleep, he passed a stop, a, a stop hate Asian crime bill for the Asians on his first day. And where's, that, where's the hate crime against the Asians? But what about all of the hate crimes for the black and Latino folks? Right. For the Native American Indian folks? How many Asians voted for Joe Biden? That's the that's question right there. They didn't have to vote, but they got it. Well, guess what? The Lord ain't forgetting about all of this. He's seeing it too, but we can't be blind to it. You understand? The Bible says, come out of her, my people. This is something that we have to separate from. Keep reading. That ye be not partakers of her sins. It says, come out of her, my people, so that we be not partakers of her sins. America does not know the Bible. Let's get that straight. Christianity does not know the Bible. Let's get that straight. America is a sinful nation. Their hands are bloody. Their drawers are bloody. They're a sinful nation. They're a wicked nation. You understand? They shout here and achieve and pass out gay white bills, say you can get high. They legalize cocaine in Washington state. You can go get bumps and cocaine and, 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 of cocaine in Washington right now. In 2019, they just made it illegal to lynch somebody. In 2019, go look it up. 2019, we're in 2022. Three years ago, two years ago. You understand? The Bible says, come out of her, my people, because God, he's a father. And he wants to do what a father's supposed to do when he sees that his children, hey, thank you, says, grab your flyer. God is a father, and he wants to do what a father's supposed to do. How many fathers is out there? You see somebody messing with your children, what you want to do? You understand? You want to defend your family. You want to defend your household. That's what you want to do. Well, God wants to defend his household. And he's going to do it, whether you like it or not, because he is a real father. And we ought to be real fathers. Right. You want to defend your family, the best thing you can do is pick up a flyer, learn how to defend your family, learn how to protect your woman, learn how to protect your daughters, so that we can raise these princes. We can raise these soldiers and these princesses. That's what we ought to do, man. And God does not want us intermingled with our oppressor's sins. Not their holidays, not their culture, not how they dress, none of it. That's what our father, that's how he moves, man. You understand? Keep reading. And that ye receive not of her blood. So I know what the Christian church has taught us. The Christian church has taught us that we have to serve our time. You do the crime, you do the time. Well, America has done the crime for I don't know how long and have never done the time. So we start to believe that we should just forgive in all love. How many of our black leaders got up and said, you know what, let's just forgive, let's just forgive and forget. America has never forget about anyone who has laid a hand on them. Right. They didn't forget Osama bin Laden, they shot him dead in the head in front of his family. In front of his family. Where was the forgive and forget then? Where was the, oh, oh God loves everybody there? Right. America is able to decipher when somebody touches one of them that they go handle their business. We've been touched for years, for years. And the problem is we're not calling on our God. That Christian prayer, as the brother said earlier, is not going to work. So when the Bible tells us that we receive not of her plagues, if you know any history, when we turn back to our God, our oppressor, they fall. They absolutely fall. 
Go ask the Egyptians. They somewhere floating in the water. They somewhere floating in the water playing patty cake with some shark because the Lord drowned them. Y'all want to talk about some Easter? That's what Passover is. Not no damn Easter. That's what Passover is. Passover is the blood of our oppressor who laid a hand on us. That's what Passover is, man. You understand? And that's going to happen again by the hand of God. That's going to happen again. He's going to bring plagues on this earth. He's already doing it now. And it's lovely and it's glorious. You should not sit there and pray for this and pray for that. Who's been praying for you? Huh? How many Ukrainians have been praying for you? Huh? But we want to sit down and join everyone's movement because that should just show the world how much we want the attention. How much our people need the love. The problem is we need to love one another. Blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians need to love one another. You understand? That's the problem. We too busy loving everyone else. We're going to die loving everyone else. Whether you like it or not. That ain't no conspiracy. We're going to die loving everyone else. You understand? You have to understand what it does when we join the culture of our oppressor. Look what we do. Look how we act towards one another. You understand? Everybody want to preach love, love, love. Right? Everybody want to preach love, love, love. Well, God is going to show real love according to the Bible. That's what God is going to do. He's going to show real love. And it's going to be bloody. It's going to be bloody. But at least that we will get out of the hellhole that we are in now. You understand? Take me back to Revelation 18 and 4. Come, come. Verse 5. Verse 5. Come, come. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven. For her sins have reached unto heaven. America's crimes have been so filthy, so violent against black people that it's reached unto heaven. Come on. Every single brother, George Floyd, Philando Castile, Michael Brown, Tamir Rice, you understand, both of them John. All of these brothers and sisters' blood and reached unto the Lord. 400 years of cotton picking, sugar cane picking, you understand? All of that, our God hears it. He hears it. You ain't got, you can go to sleep and rest assured at night. Thank you, brother. Grab you a flyer, man. Grab you a flyer right there on that table, man. You understand? You can rest assured that the God of this Bible, despite the Christian church never telling you, the God of this Bible, he sees that and he's not letting it go. You can pray all you want. God is not letting go from the crimes that our oppressor has committed on this earth. He's not letting it go. You understand? Keep reading. Oh, God. And God have remembered her iniquity. And God have remembered her iniquities. So how beat down and destroyed we are that we can sit here and forgive the blood of our forefathers. Who are you? Who are you to forgive your forefathers being hung? You can forgive that. Well, excuse me. God don't forgive you. Right. He remembers every single brother that's been hung. Every single sister that's been hung. Every single pregnant woman that had her baby taken from her. Right. He remembers it all. He sees what's going on on that border. He sees it all. And that's why the judgment from God is going to be glorious. We're going to read in the Bible how the righteous is going to thank the Lord for what he's going to do. Because who wants to see their children get taken away from them? Huh? Who wants to smell the stench of their loved one dead on the ground? Eyes rolled back. Who wants to see that? Well, that's happened to us. And we were told to forget and move on. That's what we were told. And that angers our Lord. He want to do something about it, man. And those type of crimes have reached unto the Lord. The crime of having us abort our babies has reached unto the Lord. The crime of taking our men and making them feminine has reached unto the Lord. What happened to Will Smith has reached unto the Lord. You understand? Everything that goes on in us, that's our oppressor's fault, has reached unto the Lord, man. And he remembers their iniquities. He remembers these crimes. That's what God calls them. You want to call them love and love all and God should love all and everybody should love, love, love. God calls it a crime. Right. God calls all of that, that, that stuff crime, man. Read. No, no. Verse 6. Reward her even as she rewarded you. The Bible says reward her even as she rewarded you. So this isn't saying any black man go out there and, and, and go smack some Edomite in the face. That's not saying that. You understand? You, your one hit on some police officer ain't gonna do nothing. 
Your little Glock 17 is not going to do nothing. The Lord got something so much better. You understand? His heat is hot. He got something so much better. You understand? And when Christ come by, that's who he's sending by to give a drive by to America, man. And he's coming back to take what's his. That's what Christ is coming to do.